Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Identifying Expressions and Equations. This is part one. Really simple lesson here, but incredibly important because now we're starting to, to make our journey towards uh, more complex lessons involving algebra and variables and things like that. Here we're gonna be talking about the difference between an equation and an expression. And so we'll be using this as we go forward quite a bit. Now, for an equation, it's really easy to understand. An equation is anything in math that has an equal sign with a, something on the left-hand side of the equal sign, something on the right-hand side of the equal sign. The word equation has equals inside of it. So if it has an equal sign, it's an equation. Very simple, right? Now, the word expression seems a little harder at first. Expression in math just means a calculation, right? It doesn't have an equal sign. It does. It's not something equal to something else. It's just some sort of calculation in math. We call that an expression. So as we go through these, I'm gonna write uh, something on the board, and then you're going to tell me, or we're gonna to work together to figure out if it's an equation or if it's an expression. And you'll find out that this process is really, really simple. All right, so let's say that I tell you seven times four. And I'm gonna ask you, is this an equation or is this an expression? All you have to ask yourself is, does it have an equal sign? Well, I don't see any equal sign. I mean, you might say, yes, seven times four is going to equal 28. You know that in your mind, but there is no equal sign on the board. There is no left-hand side of the equal sign and right-hand side of the equal sign. So it's not an equation because there's nothing equal to something else. This is just a calculation. Seven times four is a calculation. We call it an expression in math, right? So there's no equal sign. So this is an expression. Right? Expressions can have numbers, they can have add, subtract, multiply, divide. Expressions can have exponents. Expressions can have fractions. Expressions can have decimals. And expressions can have variables too, letters, basically. And basically, if it's not an equation, it's going to be an expression. Some sort of calculation happening somewhere. In this case, the calculation is just a multiplication. All right, now let's take the next example. Let's say that I tell you, nine minus three is equal to six. Is this an equation or an expression? Well, the only thing you have to ask yourself is, does it have an equal sign? Yes, it does. Equation means equals. So something is equal to something else. There's something on the left-hand side of the equal sign and there's something on the right-hand side of the equal sign. There is an equal sign, so this is an equation. You know, a lot of students, when they hear about equations, they think, oh, wow, that's so hard. Equations are so hard. Well, this is your first equation. It's so simple, right? All it's saying is that nine minus three, well, just calculate this right here. What is nine minus three? It's six. So what you figured out is on the left-hand side of this equal sign, this calculates to a number of six. And the right-hand side is also a six. So the left-hand side and the right-hand side both calculate down to six. And that means they can be joined with an equal sign because the left-hand side is exactly equal to the right-hand side. This thing on the left, whatever it calculates to be, must come out to calculate to whatever is on the right in order for this equal sign to be valid because equals means equivalent, exactly the same value on both sides. So if there's an equal sign, it's an equation. And of course, the left-hand side should compute to be equal to whatever is on the right-hand side. And then what you have here is an equation. If there's no equal sign like above, then there's, there's nothing equal to anything else. It's just called an expression. All right, let's take a look at the following. What about 48 is equal to 12 times four? Is this an equation or an expression? Well, you look at it and you say, well, there is an equal sign, so it's an equation. See how simple this is? Equation. Right? And you can double check and say, well, is this equation valid? What we're saying on the right-hand side is that, notice if I cover the equal sign up, this is an expression by itself. It's just a calculation. 12 times four calculates to be 48. So what we're saying is the right-hand side computes to 48, the left-hand side is 48, and because they're the same, they're joined by an equal sign because they're equivalent. And that is what we call an equation. All right, very simple. All right, what about the following? What about x? plus 14, x plus 14. Is this an equation or an expression? Well, is there an equal sign? I don't see an equal sign anywhere, right? I just see a variable plus a number, right? Don't let the idea that a variable is here scare you. Remember a variable, a letter, is just a placeholder. X is going to be something. X is maybe one or X might be two, or X might be 10 or X might be, you know, zero or any other number that you can think of, 5.5 but it's just some number, and there is no equal sign. This is just a calculation. We call it an expression in math. 
The reason we're doing this lesson is because a lot of times in math, when you get farther along, you start hitting these words like equation, expression, and if you don't know what they mean, then you can't learn anything, right? So let's move along to the next, uh, the next problem. Let's talk about n multiplied by 2 minus 5 equals 3. All right, is this an equation or is this an expression? Well, you can see that there's an equal sign, so immediately without doing anything else, you know it has to be an equation. So put down equation. All right, now, whereas before, remember this variable can take on any value. If I put zero in here for the value of x, then zero plus 14 will be 14. If I put one in here, then one plus 14 will be 15. If I put two in here, I'll get a different answer. If I put five in here, I'll get a different answer. If I put 17 in here, I'll get a different answer. So no matter what value I put in for the variable, I'll calculate something new. But in this case, I have a variable and it's equal to something else. So because it's equal to something else, there's actually only one value that works for this variable to make it equal. Let me say that again. There really is only one value of the letter N that really can work in order to make the left-hand side equal three. So let's just, since this one's so easy, let's just think through it. What if I put zero in here? Zero times two, this, this would make this whole thing zero, and then be minus five, and that certainly is not equal to three. So the value of n cannot be um, zero. What if I put one in here? One times two is two, and then two minus five, that's a negative number, that can't be three. What if I put, uh, I don't know, let's say <clears throat> three in here. Three times two is six. Once I do that, six minus five, that's one. That can't be a right value. Let's try one more. What about four? Four times two is eight. And then if this is eight minus five, that would be three. So bingo, that means that this value right here has to be four. The value of this variable has to be four. If we pick zero or one or two or three, or if we skip over four to five, to six, to seven, then no matter what we get when we use those other values of the variable n, we're gonna get something other than three on the left. So if we get something other than three, it means it's not equal to three, so it's wrong, okay? So this is really the, uh, the, the value of an equation here, is when we, when we have an unknown in the equation to figure out what the unknown is. Maybe you write an equation down to talk about the temperature in this room. Uh, or the weather pattern over the ocean, or you write an equation to figure out how fast you're going when you reach Mars in your spaceship, or you write an equation to talk about the black holes and how they form, and you don't know the value of the, of the letters in your equation, then you use the rules of math to figure out what they are. Now for this equation, we guessed and we got it right, but as we go further, we will learn how to solve these equations without guessing, because the equations get way more complex than this. But I just want you to know that an equation is just something with an equal sign, and if your equation has a variable, it just means that there is a value of that variable that will make that equation true. And the other values of the variable, they won't work. So later on, we'll be solving equations to find out the right value that works. That's what an equation really is. That's what they're for, okay? All right, that was a little bit of an aside, but a really, really important aside. Let's take a look at the following. Seven plus two minus one. Is this an equation or an expression? I don't see an equal sign, so this is an expression. Right? Now, of course, I can calculate this if I want to. I can calculate this and minus one, I get the number, but it's not an equation because it's not equal to something on the right-hand side. All right, what about 48 divided by two plus b? has a variable in it, but there is no equal sign. No equal sign means it's not an equation. This has to be an expression. So if I put different values of b in here, you know, I'll add it to two and I'll take 48 divided by that. I'll get new answers. If I put b is zero, b is one, b is two, b is three, I'll get different answers. But it's not an equation because it's not equal to something. There's no equal sign there, all right? All right, we're getting close to the end here. Let's take a look at three minus one squared plus five equals nine. Is this an equation or an expression? Well, I see an equal sign, so it has to be an equation. All right, let's take a look at it just for giggles. In the parentheses, three minus one is two, so this makes two. Two squared, two times two is four, so this whole thing makes four, 
and then 4 plus 5 is 9. So this is an equal sign that is valid, that is an equation. All right, let's move along. What about z times 3 minus 4 plus 5 is equal to 24? Is this an equation or is this an expression? Well, I see an equal sign, so it has to be an equation. Right? Now, much like before, notice before, when I gave you an equation here that had a variable, we started guessing values and calculating what, what, what the correct value of the variable is that makes it true. Here, you could do the same thing, but notice it's a little more complicated, so it's gonna take more work. So guessing like that, to find the value of the variable that works, guessing over and over and over again, it doesn't really work for more complex equations. It would be guessing forever. So as we go through math, I'm gonna teach you how to solve these things and find the right value of the variable that works without guessing. And there's rules involved, but you'll get used to the rules like anything else, and you'll get good at it. All right, what about uh, 3 times h plus 4 divided by, uh, whoops, divided by what? Divided by 2. All right, is this an equation or is this an expression? I don't see any equal sign anywhere, so this is an expression. All right, so the goal of this was really twofold. The first goal is to tell you what an expression is and what an equation is. In a nutshell, an expression is another way of saying calculation in math, right? When you calculate something, right? An equation has an equal sign. The left-hand side of the equal sign must be the same in value as whatever is on the right-hand side of the equal sign. That's why they're equal. So we wanna learn the difference. Basically, if you see an equal sign, we call it an equation. Anything else, you basically call it an expression. And then we also went down the rabbit hole a little bit about what it means to have an equation anyway. We talked about the simplest of equations. And this is an equation because they're an equal sign. The right-hand side computes to 48, the left-hand side is 48. Yes, that's equal, so it's an equation. This computes to six, and the right-hand side is six. That equal sign's valid, that is an equation. Now, when you get to an equation that has a letter involved, it just means that you stick different values in for this letter, then the calculation that happens, you're gonna get different answers and you have to pick the right value of the variable to make it equal the right-hand side when you calculate it. And that process is what we call solving the equation. Now here we haven't really solved it, we kind of guessed and convinced ourselves, right, that this has to be four, n has to be four, because four times two is eight, and then you take eight minus five and then it's three, that value works. But as we go farther in math, we learn how to solve these things, and there are many, many, many kinds of equations from very simple equations related to distance and money and time to very complex equations involving gravity and black holes and electromagnetic waves and radiation. They get very complex, but the basic idea is the same. You have an unknown. You have something you want to learn about and solve for, and we write an equation and we solve it. So that's the direction we're going. That's where we're heading. So I'd like you to finish solving all of these yourself. And when you feel like you understand what's happening, go on to the next lesson. We'll get a little more practice to wrap up the concept of identifying equations and expressions.